Absolutely, you can mix E85 with regular unleaded gas. But let's dive into the why and how it works. Because like anything worthwhile, it comes with a few caveats. First off, E85 is a blend of gasoline and ethanol, the ratio being roughly 85% ethanol to 15% gasoline. This high ethanol content offers a cooler and cleaner combustion process, which is fantastic for the environment and can potentially improve your vehicle's performance. However, not every car is designed to handle this kind of fuel. That's where flex fuel vehicles, FFVs, come into play. FFVs are engineered explicitly to run on any ethanol blend up to 85%. The magic behind these vehicles is their ability to adjust the fuel injection and timing based on the type of fuel. So, if you're driving one of these adaptable cars, feel free to mix E85 with regular unleaded gas. Your FFV was born for this, ready to automatically detect and adjust its internal settings for any mix you pour in. For those of us in Portland, Oregon, and especially during those drives through the breathtaking landscapes of the Pacific Northwest, the idea of using a cleaner burning fuel has obvious appeal. We value our green, lush environment, and making choices that help keep it that way, even in small measures like choosing more sustainable fuels, feels right. However, if your vehicle isn't an FFV, tread carefully. Non-FFVs may not cope well with high ethanol blends. Ethanol can be more corrosive than gasoline. It has a knack for attracting water, which in non-FFVs can lead to issues like rusting fuel components or water contamination in the fuel system. Plus, the engine and fuel system of non-FFVs aren't designed to adjust for the difference in energy content between regular gasoline and E85, potentially leading to operational issues and even damage. In layman's terms, think of it as trying to run a marathon in dress shoes. Sure, you might make it to the finish line, but the journey will be far from efficient and could leave you with some very unhappy feet. For those inclined to mix fuels out of necessity or curiosity, do your due diligence. Know your vehicle, its capabilities, and its limitations. The rule of thumb is, if in doubt, stick to the fuel recommended by your car's manufacturer. Vehicles designed for regular unleaded gasoline may not benefit from E85, and the risk of damage can outweigh the potential benefits. And lastly, for my fellow Portlanders, we're lucky to have a wealth of resources and eco-friendly options at our fingertips. If you're looking to make greener choices for your vehicle, consider exploring other sustainable alternatives like electric or hybrid vehicles that are as kind to our environment as we strive to be. In essence, mixing E85 with regular unleaded gas is doable and even beneficial under the right circumstances. Just ensure those circumstances apply to you and your vehicle before you dive in.